how's it going guys we got another uh, little project here well my neighbor does it's uh, same neighbor it has the uh, little mini bike which we got some more videos to post on it but uh, he picked up this go-kart and uh, this is a nice size go-kart um, it, it easily seat you know easily seats two people um, probably get two two adults down in it maybe a squeeze with a couple adults but uh, it's a nice size go-kart um, I like how it's made has a nice uh, nice shape to it um, there's a few things about it uh, the engine at first glance looks like one of those Honda clone motors um, but after you sit there kind of look at it you can tell you know design differences and stuff you know like the governor is in a little bit different spot you know it's usually over here got this hump right here the jug doesn't look the same and then the name on it says uh robin right there but it, you go over to the side over here it says uh robin subaru so it must be some sort of a subaru engine but very similar to the GX uh, Honda GX type engine so that's kind of kind of interesting I don't know what it's like to get parts for one of those but uh, um, it has a 30 series Comet, Comet clutch on it and it is actually it is actually a Comet clutch yeah here Comet so it's not a copy. I believe this company went out of business at some point. I don't know exactly how old this thing is. <clears throat> you know, it's hard to tell. It could be five years old or 15, who knows. The name on the side of it. Silver Fox 169cc. Any other names on it? These tires on the front. Uh, this one has a little bit of air in it. That one is flat. One on the back over here is flat. This one here has air. I think the axle is bent. Just by looking at it, it, it appears to be bent. So I might have to pull that out and put it in a press. I think it's kind of interesting about the axle is that it is a hex shape. Um, he plans on tearing it all down and then giving it a paint job. There's some other things here that needs to be straightened out. You see here it's bent. It's been bottomed out. And it bent right here. I kind of got a little bit of a theory. Maybe you put a scissor jack right here. Run a strap from here over the scissor jack and then tie it back to here. You might be able to Bend it back, I don't know. Anything maybe can be cut out and a new piece put in, but either way, I think some gussets need to be put in here. Let's keep this from happening again once it is fixed. Um, the seat is kind of rough, but uh, I think I might have some seats we can put in here, like two little bucket seats, like for a lawnmower. Like See about putting something like that in here. Um, it's probably the kill switch. Roll cage unbolts, but it's also a two piece roll cage. You can unhook it right here and also unhook it right here and just remove the front section, or you can also unbolt it right here and you can remove the entire roll cage. This thing's big enough that I think you could put a, you know, a bigger motor on there. <laughs> it would be pretty cool with a bigger motor, but we don't have anything else to put on there right now. So, but, uh, yeah, we'll get some uh, get some videos on this later, and uh, you guys can see the progress on how this goes. I kind of think maybe a little bit bigger tires on the front of it. I think it would look better with maybe even both ends. I think I have some uh, 
20 inch scorpions out at the garage. Those are 18s. But, uh, well, I'll uh, catch you guys later.